uh, well, so I, I begin. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, please let me say my thank you to Bob Chan and to Stuart Galloway. The first is an excellent researcher, the second an astonishing organizer. My thank you also to Jim DeBros, author of my book Forward, and as you did read at the beginning of my documentary, who welcomed me in making it. And I am here with a generosity and a smartness just wonderful. Last but not least, my gratitude to Pete Mello. He not only did the book, but he educated me so much that he has sent back to invite me. So, I am among friends, and because of this, I uh, would like to share with you something I can see until now. I never ever revealed this before. So you, uh, this is the, the documents of Flickr. Yeah. Uh, you for sure have noticed a, a partner, and the partner is the stamp in the corner. There is always a stamp in the corner, in every page, in every document. Now, a few years ago, Robert Redford started in a movie called The Truth, the film focused on the Killian Documents controversy. Those documents exposed that George W. Bush received a preferential treatment during his time in the military. Unfortunately, they were photocopies, and so, because of this, even if the facts were, were extremely accurate, they were judged non-authentic. The fantastic good news is this is absolutely not the case with the CMC papers. In fact, the presence of those stamps in the corner of every single paper is because they are authenticated copies. Legally speaking, their value is exactly the same of the original ones. I repeat this today because I say I'm among friends. And time arrived to make it. But there is another reason to explain which I need to come back to Pete Mallor. In fact, Pete also wrote a first review on Amazon about my book. The point is Amazon betrayed it and even blocked Pete from reviewing at all, forever. His fault, his review say that my book effectively proves a connection between the assassination of JK and the Israeli intelligence agency Mossad exists. <coughs> yes, the insinuation is always there around the corner. Anti-Semitism, you know, an accusation that I totally reject. In fact, this is what I firmly state at the end of my work. Anyone wanting to use my book to shout stupid phrases as Hitler was right, or that to Israelis of similar should know that they are committing a crime. They did not understand anything of what I have explained in these pages, and that more in general they do not understand life and they are not my friends. But the insinuation still continues. It came back recently inside another review, this time written by someone totally different from the so kind Pete Mello. The name of this other reviewer is John Kowalski or something like that. This John Kowalski attacked me telling that Louis Bloomfield, the CMC majority shareholder, was innocent of everything that he was a saint and after that he insinuated that if you write something against Bloomfield, it is because you are anti-Semitic. Yes, here we are again. Something, by the way, that offends not just me, but also Jay Garrison. Not only that, this reviewer also added that my book is a total failure that I failed, for example, to prove a connection between journalist Ma Masonic Lodge P2 and CMC, that I failed to prove a relationship exists between strategy of tension and CMC. You just watched my documentary. You see how ridiculous these accusations are. He pretends that CMC was a sort of club of Boy Scouts. Yes, I 
in fact, he added that all ID is a senseless combination of names. A senseless combination of names if I written that two people like the same kind of pizza. This is a senseless combination of names. Not what I did. But the part who told it so is when this Mr. Kowalski says that the anti-JFK pact stipulated by Italian and American Freemasonry through a really important CIA agent, Giliotti, doesn't mean anything at all. Imagine this Einstein guiding the journalistic investigation on the Watergate, for example. Okay, they arrested those buggers. So what? The worst is this Mr. Kowalski is the guy who uh, now making the search in the Blue Pills Archive in Canada. Archive, sorry. In the Blue Pills Archive in Canada. So beware of this so mysterious Mr. Kowalski who is examining the Blue Pills Archive, but who at the same time is too suspiciously down and too suspiciously a Bloomfield admirer and lover. He is helping the enemies of JK acting like this. He not say. Okay, now please, your questions. Thank you. Yeah, uh, question here. Do I use the mic or? Just uh, speak up there. Yeah. 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 Hi, McKinley. Hi. Uh, it's Pete. Yes. Um, yeah, in your conclusion uh, of your book, we thank JFK for his courage, generosity and wisdom. I'd like to know what started you off on the uh, investigation of his uh, assassination. Yes. Yeah. Can I rephrase the question? That's my well, that's my yeah. question. Yes. Can you what got you interested in? What began your interest in the assassination? You have your office. We're not, can you hear us? We're not getting you, Mick. Okay, we got blank. <coughs> can you hear us, Mick? No. It's I, I, I have a problem uh, hearing you, uh, but probably you, you, you asked uh, how the assassination uh, uh, was born, uh, the, the plan to. Why did they decide to assassinate uh, John Kennedy? No, no. I asked uh, what began, what started you off, in, uh, your interest. Ah, in my interest, yes, of course, sorry. Yeah. Uh, but my, my interest it is simply because I watched uh, some movie, uh, JFK, and well, uh, the fact is, uh, when uh, the end was on the screen, I thought, well, I had uh, to find those documents because there is a very short uh, scene there. It is a minute, no, no more than a minute, in which they uh, talk about the fact that the show was connected, linked to uh, this mysterious CMC in Rome, in Italy. They show um, a newspaper uh, in which uh, it is say so, show connected to CM Zero. And, and so uh, it is a minute, but this minute changed completely my life. And I'm here. I'm happy that my, my dream came true. Um, uh, it, it was something I, I was not a child, but uh, when JFK was uh, uh, in cinemas here in Italy, uh, I was 18, 19, something like that. And so it started this way. Uh, I, uh, I like it not only because uh, I reached my goal, but um, I like it even more because those documents uh, affected 
interestingly revealed that the Addison was totally right. This is extremely important because um, the CIA, and we have documents, one of the, of the documents against the UK was shown uh, in my documentary at the end. Uh, when I say uh, Garrison uh, was uh, at the point to, to, to prove the, the, um, that show was uh, uh, was guilty, but unfortunately CIA uh, um, helped uh, show. Uh, we now know that not only Garrison was right, but we know even more because uh, those people, um, the CMC members, are all connected to the strategy of tension. And uh, Oliver Stone uh, was very happy, I talked with him uh, in one occasion uh, here in Italy, uh, and he said, well, uh, this is extremely important that uh, we now know this connection with this strategy of connection because this strategy, uh, this strategy never ended. Uh, even now, uh, if you um, examine the, the battle, the, the, the situation of tension between uh, the United States and Russia, uh, all in all, uh, there are people uh, in the United States and in Europe that are alimenting this tension because uh, behind the curtain there is the strategy of tension. So it is a tension between the, those so powerful uh, countries, but at the same time uh, it is, there is something behind the curtain that is so uh, dangerous and we, uh, uh, what I, I want to add is that uh, for sure we have now the opportunity to put those people, uh, the responsible, yes, I know, most of them are dead, but not, of, not all of them, and we, we could put them uh, on trial before a court, an international court, that's what I asked in the last page of my book. Uh, we can do it. Uh, if we do it, it is extremely important. Uh, not as a vindication, of course, but as an act of justice. Okay. Um, another question here. Um, your book is published without an index. Yes. Um, will, do you know when there will be an index added to in a book. Yes, Mr. Lund, sorry about that. Well, an index, uh, I, I, I would say, I uh, have to, to call it uh, um, a, a table of contents, uh, it exists uh, in the, in the um, edition that I published a few years, few days ago. Uh, I added this, a table of contents. But, Yes, the, um, till now there is no uh, an index of the names. Uh, for sure, it is really important. I, I understand this, but uh, the problem is, first of all, that I am adding uh, uh, not every day, but almost so uh, something new in the book. So uh, if I add something, for sure there are more pages. And it is difficult to me uh, to create an, an index of the names uh, uh, till the moment uh, in which the book is um, totally finished. Uh, so, uh, to, to answer to your uh, uh, really interesting question, this is my problem, and I hope that um, in almost six months, or uh, I, I will do it. Sorry, I'm really sorry. It's my fault. That's okay. That's it, Michele. You've got questions. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Hello, Michele. It's Stuart here. Yes. Um, you write about an individual called Schacht in your book. Is that Hashemar Schacht, who is the Reichsbank president? And he was Minister of um, Economics. Yes. On the Hitler's regime. Yes. 
yeah? Um, you, emphasize, you emphasize the fact that John Foster Dulles uh, and probably his brother, through Sullivan and Cromwell, were funding the uh, Nazis from the US. Um, two questions. Do you think that was serious enough to actually have caused the Second World War? Because if uh, Hitler had not had that money, he could not have come to power. And yeah. secondly, where do you think those funds were actually coming from? Uh, well, the situation is this, that for sure, for the dust, uh, had to do with this, with uh, CMC, because we have a document, a really important document, in which uh, Orson Dahls says, uh, reacts uh, against the, um, the embassy in, uh, in Switzerland, uh, that was saying, uh, uh, look, that uh, there is a problem, because uh, this CMC is banned, in fact, to say, to, to, to call it as, uh, it was called at that time. This pen index uh, uh, is dangerous in uh, our own opinion because um, uh, people uh, in there, George Mander, for example, uh, are people um, that are during and did during the uh, during World War II uh, <coughs> a lot of things that are really questionable. Mm. So, uh, for some does answer it, no problem, because uh, they are my friends, and you have to uh, to shut up. This is this is what uh, what he said. Of course, he did not say uh, so directly uh, as I as I uh, I'm saying it now. Uh, it was a diplomatic uh, use of diplomatic matters in his phrases, but. The, the, the sense of, of what it what we brought is exactly that. You have to, to shut up your mouth and, uh, and stop doing uh, anything you wanted to do against the family. Yeah. So uh, this is the first point. <coughs> Second point is that, uh, as shown at the beginning of my documentary, the problem was that uh, was one person, was one person, all in all was one person, and it, it is, uh, this person is Angleton, because Angleton uh, was really blind, absolutely blind. Uh, he uh, shaped the CIA as a sort of servant of Israel. When I say Israel, I won't really to stress that I not against the Israeli people, absolutely. I'm accusing the government. This is very really different. Yes. yes. Uh, so, Angleton was blind and helped immensely for uh, Saab and the far right, the, the, the Israeli far right. This was the problem. And in doing so, he uh, surrounded uh, himself of a lot of people like Jelly, uh, like Sindona. That was the problem. Uh, because uh, they were people um, extremely dangerous, and uh, besides, uh, uh, there is this connection with the uh, P2, P2. Uh, this lodge, this Freemasonic lodge. Uh, as connections uh, with the strategy of tension. And strategy of tension, I, I please want you to uh, keep in mind that it is not uh, a couple of words. Uh, it is far more than this. As I showed, it means people uh, get your what? To be in a bank, to go to, to take a train, get your this, is this uh, something that people cannot do? I, I take a train, you take a train. Whoever people do this, whoever goes to a bank, well, but in their 
opinion, if you create this situation of tension, uh, killing innocent people, uh, it, it was a way, uh, I, I repeat, in, in their mind, in their uh, horrible minds, uh, to, to proceed to, to, to reach the goal,